Hello, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. This is Shannon Scott coming to you from Savannah, Georgia. And I'm not in Bonaventure Cemetery today, but I'm just hanging out in my sitting room here. And of course, I was thinking about, you know, what Mother's Day is and, you know, what the energy of mother love is and all that great, wonderful stuff. And also, I suppose, you know, hard stuff, challenging stuff, too. But boy, mothers are special. And of course, mine is still living, and um, I sent her a big box of goodies. But you know, there are a lot of uh, children visiting cemeteries today, young and old children, uh, who remembering who are remembering their mothers. And so I thought, what can I do that is Bonaventure relative, and not maybe too completely uh, depressing, but you know, like like a cemetery connected thing, maybe a little bittersweet, uh, but also celebrated for sure. So. Yeah, I'm looking over at the wall, and, and of course I see the ultimate uh, Bonaventure son and uh, mother, the poet Conrad Aiken and his mother Anna Potter Aiken. In fact, the photograph here of his mother taken just mere weeks before her death, and you can see she has quite a heavy weight maybe on her face. And it's a bit true, when Conrad was uh, almost nine years of age, or nine years of age, his father, who was a brilliant doctor, a uh, renaissance man, was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, and Conrad watched the decline of his father, Jekyll and Hyde style, until the very end, uh, inside of a murder-suicide in 1901, which he partially witnessed by sound and, and found the bodies as a child. And yes, it kind of fired him into his artist's path, where he would really spend the rest of his life sorting out, we, d we might say, parental issues and, and mother issues, of course, is the classic one, I suppose. But nonetheless, in 1917, while uh, roommates with T.S. Eliot at Harvard, he wrote a wonderful devotion to his mother called Music I Heard. And this was 1917. And the copy that I have, he did up on a typewriter, and it's actually signed by him. And this one has a little bit of a Freudian slip with an, a spelling error. But because he really was this father of freeform writing, I kind of wonder if maybe the Freudian slip was intentional. But I thought I would recite the poem for you. And so, music I heard. Music I heard with you was more than music, and bread I broke with you was more than bread. Now that I am without you, all is desolate, all that was once so beautiful, us dead. Your hands once touched this table and this silver, and I've seen your fingers hold this glass. These things do not remember you, beloved, and yet your touch upon them will not pass. For it was in my heart you moved among them, and blessed them with your hands and with your eyes, and in my heart they will remember always, they knew you once, O oh, beautiful and wise. By Conrad Aiken, devoted to his mother, Anna Potter Aiken. And yes, mother's love is eternal, and so I wanted to share that. So I hope you enjoyed that, and happy Mother's Day, and uh, come see us in Bonaventure sometime.